guys, welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. If you're new here, we would love it if you would subscribe down below. Today, we have our monthly favorites videos. We love these. This is our November favorites. And I actually think it'll be the last one of the year because in December. Oh yeah, we'll do our we like yearly year, Yeah, we we'll do our yearly. So this is really exciting. Can't believe it's November or it's almost December. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so our first favorite, we're just really excited to tell you guys about. Um, you know we have our own candle brand, Diag Candle, but we love candles in general. Mm -hmm. And every year we look so forward to the Nest Holiday Candles. They usually release like one new scent and then they usually bring back old ones. So Holiday is still my favorite, I think. It, mm -hmm. The new one I, I might be tied, mm -hmm. but I love their Holiday Candles so much. Um, this is, so we got the, it was a two pack, right? Yeah, so we got, we'll link all of the sets we got down below mm -hmm. because we, we got a lot. We got the, um, like the small Devoted. set, mm -hmm. um, which was from Sephora that has all three of these um, as the smallest size, um, which is really more affordable and they last a pretty good time. Yeah, we like had, and time. we usually burn the small ones, like they're small, and we burned it in our office mm -hmm. for like a full day, for like a full week, mm -hmm. and it, it took like a week to burn yeah, them. Yeah, and they're tiny. And they so, fill up the whole room. Yeah, so those are great, um, but then we always try to buy the duo set that has mm -hmm. the holiday candle and, and then birchwood pine. pine. Um, cause this size is really nice. Like yeah. this will last a long time cause Nest Candles burn slowly, which is awesome. They were like our benchmark when we were creating yeah, our candle like, brand. I feel like how, we're like, how, they have to burn like this. They yeah. have to have the same throw. Yeah. So we love their candles. Yeah, definitely. Um, so we always get this set, which is the perfect size. There actually is a size larger than this, I believe. Yeah, and then they have a giant one, They too. do. So there's like, lots of sizes. Yeah. Um, but the duo set, again, is from Sephora. They also have it on Nordstrom. And we always feel like it's a good deal every year. Yeah. And so, as Britta said, the Holiday Candle and Birchwood Pine. And then, because the mini set also had their new holiday scent, which is Blue Cypress and Snow, we fell in love with it when we smelled yeah, it the in mini the mini one. So we bought the right so full size. we bought the full size from Nordstrom. They had a sale last week. If it's still going on, we'll definitely call that out in the mm -hmm. link. Um, it <laughs> arrived kind of messy, but oh, yeah, I, wow. Yeah, I should write them though, maybe. Yeah, I just. Like we, <laughs> I feel like we get it. Like their wax is also. Our candles has nev never arrived our, like that. That's true. Our candles have never arrived like this, but their wax is very soft like ours is. Yeah. So if I could guess, I think that this kind of just got like pushed around and pushed down on it in transit. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know how Nordstrom ships things, but I, I don't think it's very safely. Who knows? Um, oh my God, it smells so good. No. <laughs> but yeah, it burns it smells a bit so messy. Good. But I love how they all are so similar oh to gosh. each other, but then they complement each other too, don't you think? Yeah, they really do. Like, obviously we love our candles, but they do such a fantastic job at the holiday They do. I don't think, I mean, we're going to really try to get one for you guys, but we're so picky and I'm like, they capture it so well. They really do. I mean, I don't even know what Blue Cypress is. Like, do I? Do I know what Blue Cypress All is? All I know is these are heavenly. I, <laughs> I know. They're I just so love them. Good. I wish we could describe them to you guys. The descriptions on the website, I feel like, are pretty accurate. Holiday, to me, is has the most, like, sweetness to it. Like, the most... It has, like, underlying, like, berry notes. I think yeah. it's, like, currant or something in here. Yeah, I'd say it's so like, woodsy. There's kind of, like, herbs in there, too. Yeah. But then... Obviously, birchwood pine is like I think a it's, straight pine I think candle. Birchwood pine is my favorite. Yeah, you love this one. Yeah, I love it. It's a straight pine candle, and this one I want to say is somewhere in between the yeah, two. Yeah, I think so too. You I smell like the woodsiness to it, but there's also like some sweet. Ooh, I can read the box to it. Oh, okay. Since this is the new one, I wanted to show you guys. We're like going on and on. I'm like, what the heck? I know. Sorry about, about these candles, sorry about that. but they're so good. Um, this is what the unicartons look like. I wanted to show you since we just got this one in the mail. But it says blue cypress and snow. The aroma of a snow-covered mountain retreat in winter is created by combining crisp alpine evergreen juniper berry. Oh berry. my gosh, the juniper mm -hmm. berry, definitely. And hints of smoked vanilla bean. I actually don't smell no, it. No, I think smoky. because we have smoke and mirrors is one of our candles, and that one has like smoked a smoky vanilla, vanilla bean, and that one's maybe we're, we're just comparing it to that, and that's yeah. definitely more smoky. Um, oh, this is great though. Let's read this. Okay. It says this holiday season, Nest New York is moving towards a more sustainable future with recyclable cartons made from sustainably sourced materials using renewable energy. So that's awesome. Oh, good for them. I think this is the first time they've ever done that. And it actually did feel different. I just didn't 
didn't realize that so that is great and yeah it's a really cute box so yeah sorry to go on and on about them i mean we want you guys to buy our candles too because <laughs> they're amazing but yeah. we want to support other candle brands that are that we love yeah and would like truly recommend to you guys and they just do holiday candles right yeah it would be disingenuous not to talk about our love for the nest holiday collection yeah Okay, we both recently picked this up during the Sephora sale, and it has truly become a holy grail skincare yeah. product for me. It's the First Aid Beauty Pharma Oaten Hemp Multi Fix Salve. So I needed a new, I think I, I talked about this some, somewhere. Yeah. I needed a new lip mask, and I went on Sephora, and a lot of people were saying they use this on their lips. And I was like, well, that's weird, because it looks almost like a lotion. Like when you look at the actual product mm -hmm. and so I'm like oh that's kind of weird but they were not wrong they did not lead me astray this is perfect for your lips I use it under my eyes I use it as a hand cream sometimes I use it all over my face like I had a um, blemish on my nose and I put salicylic acid on it and because of that I got peeling around it it did make the blemish go away mm -hmm. but then my nose was peeling and I put this on overnight and it like fixed the peeling overnight it heals your skin yeah I definitely feel like I just get dry around my nose and mouth mm -hmm. this time of year I don't know why but like very dry like even flaky still around my mouth I think it's like late term effects from my periodontal dermatitis but like flaky skin and I've been putting this on top of that mm -hmm. and it really helps and it hasn't clogged my pores no me either it's so fantastic you guys I know it's pricey my only complaint is for the price I wish it was in nicer packaging I know that's like such a small thing like you're paying for the product itself and I know that brands have to, you know, like, they don't want to spend an arm and a leg on packaging. Yeah. But I just feel like for the price, like, it feels really cheap to me. Yeah. It, like, the cap doesn't even line up fully with the jar. And then it's just, like, a sticker. I just wish yeah, that but, maybe it was in a glass jar. Yeah, like, we work in the industry. And so I could, like, estimate this cost of goods right now. Yeah. And that's the only reason we say that. It's not, like, like you just know. You know, you know yeah, how much it costs. Yeah, this was cheap, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so I can guarantee that. And it's, like, no, like I said, I get that like they're trying to give you a really amazing formula and that's what I want but for the price I think it could have come in better packaging or like they could have just dropped the price of it yeah exactly Because I know that um we saw comments even on Sephora before we ordered that people mm -hmm. were like oh it's a little expensive for yeah the for what it is yeah well you get a pretty good amount of product again it's just you know mm -hmm. aesthetically I just mm -hmm. wish they packaged it differently um but maybe they'll make that transition eventually mm -hmm. Okay, we are so excited about this. I think we get really giddy when we have a new sunscreen favorite yeah. in general. Um, Color Science sent these to us, which is really, we're really grateful for. We've been wanting we to try sunscreen. Yeah, we've been wanting to try this specific formula for a long time. We talked about this in our ORPR haul video, which yes. went up before mm -hmm. this. Um, but, uh, like you guys know, we work in the beauty industry and we have a chemist on our team and we had asked him like recommendations for mineral sunscreen cause he's just a big proponent for mineral versus chemical. Mm -hmm. And this was like the only one he had recommended. And this yeah. was like a year ago. So for a long time we wanted to buy this, but like never picked it up. And, and then you like new sunscreens come to the market. You're excited to try. Yeah. And like, I do still love that. Like the my shell sunscreen. I love the Ilia super serum skin mm -hmm. tint. Seriously love. But then you like forget about the players that have been here for a yeah, while. Yeah, because this brand has been around. Mm -hmm. um, so we were so excited to get it. And now I'm just like, can I ever live without this? It's so good. It's so good. So it's the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. 50 broad spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen PA++++. Chemical free, active, 100% mineral. And I think the only, yeah, the only active in here is zinc oxide at 12%, mm -hmm. which is awesome because we always look for zinc over titanium dioxide. Yeah, I should never buy just one with titanium. Mm -hmm. And then they also have a glow formula and a bronze formula, and I love these. The bronze is going to be perfect for summer. I feel like when you're outside, maybe like in the sun, no makeup on, like you, mm -hmm. but you still want to give life to your skin. This is perfect because it gives like color to your skin. Yeah. And it is good for the winter too if you're wearing it like under a foundation like if you're kind of on the paler side mm -hmm. and you know how foundation can kind of make you look more pale and like drowned out this is good but the glow I've been loving for winter because it just gives your like dry skin a really healthy looking glow it's not glittery it's just like an actual glow yeah we can insert swatches of all three next to each other so you can just kind of see the tone yeah that's true because the base formula is the same um so this one is the original but it still has a tint oh I did want to call that out because a slight tint I feel like it's it's, it's not really tinted. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of white, but they yeah. did try to tint it a little, which I appreciate, so it doesn't, like, leave a white cast. 
yeah. um, on me. Um, I don't. It, it actually probably would leave a white cast on deeper skin tones. So then the bronze would be a better way to go. Yeah. Um, but it looks like this, and the formula is just so nice, you guys. Number one, the packaging is a toddle, which I love toddles. Yeah. Because they're like. They're like, you know, like squeezy tubes, but they're more rigid and they just so look feels nicer. nicer too. Yeah, they look nicer. They can like stand up on like the cap. They're just, it's just a nice experience in my opinion. Um, and then, yeah, it comes out and it just feels, I can't even really describe it because it feels almost like a, like a serum. I was going to say like a thick serum. Like yeah. Something you would put on before mm -hmm. bed probably, but not because you're putting it on in the morning. Yeah. But then, you know, we always, we relate a lot to the Ilia serum skin tint because that is also mineral sunscreen. That is so dewy and it does never really sinks into your skin. It kind of stays mm -hmm. on top. This, I feel like actually, even though it feels like serum-y and really like moisturizing, it doesn't stay on top of your skin like it somehow sinks in a little it does, bit yeah and it doesn't look too dewy like it just looks like a little bit of a sheen even the original the pearl in the um glow would add like more of a yeah glow. yeah they do um but it's so good it's so good it's so good and we wanted to share sorry we went on and on about it okay next up is an old favorite but now a current favorite this is the verb ghost oil i needed a new hair oil and i didn't know like there were so many on sephora there was like the day one um the olaplex i really love but the packaging just gets me it's very difficult to get like the proper amount out and it gets really messy i found like i don't like having to screw the top on when my hands are oily you know what i mean yeah i still love it though. a pump is just so much easier yeah so I wanted to try the day, but it was pretty expensive, and I just it some had some bad reviews, and I was like, whatever. I'm just gonna buy the Verb Ghost Oil because I know I used to love it. I don't know why I stopped using this. It is fantastic. It's a very viscous hair oil. It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. The scent is so good. Um, it's clear, and I just put it on the ends of my hair before I blow dry. And it really is like an invisible oil. I feel like it nourishes my hair without weighing it down. It adds shine without being greasy. I feel like a lot of oils that are on like the thinner side maybe like seep into my hair follicles more and can sometimes be too much. Like you can easily overuse it. I don't find that with this. I feel like it's almost a combination of like a heat protectant and an oil, like mm -hmm. the actual like consistency of it. I really love it. I think if you have like damaged hair, it's really nice um, because like I said, it doesn't weigh it down, but it does help with like the softness and um, the shine. Okay, I have a hair favorite quickly too. Um, this is the Olaplex number no. six bond smoother and we had never purchased this out of all the Olaplex products. I think this is the only thing we hadn't tried. Um, so I picked it up during the Sephora sale and it's um, a leave-in reparative styling cream. Um, so it's supposed to eliminate frizz, nourish, and protect. And I think that's exactly what it does. Ever since I started using this, and I use like a dime size amount, if I do use a little too much, it can make my hair look a bit greasy, but my hair's so dry at this point that I don't even care. Like it's mm -hmm. so, I'd rather have it look greasy. But I feel like it's been really helping. Like today, I didn't even style my hair yet. I just like dried it 90% and then let it air dry the rest of the time. And it just really helps to like eliminate frizz and make your style look more polished. Like this is just my natural hair and I feel like it looks more polished. Um, don't look at my ends cause they don't look the best, but it just looks more polished um, and shiny. And then I do notice that when I go in with a hot tool, like I like to curl my hair with my straightener, it definitely protects it a lot more than any other products I currently own. So I feel like it adds like a barrier and it's really good at protecting. And I'm like upset that I haven't tried this sooner because I actually really like it. So um, it's confirmed that we love everything that Olaplex mm -hmm. comes out with. Okay, next is a complexion product. This is the M Cosmetics Daydream Cushion. I know, did we use this? When did we? Yeah, I this. used it in our Get Ready With Me. Okay, um, so yeah. if you watch that, I, you can see like the application process. Um, it's so nice. It's a cushion mm -hmm. foundation, as you can see. Um, it comes with a little sponge, which I haven't used yet. I just, oh, I love the sponge. Really? Oh, okay. I actually can't. So I always apply foundation with a brush, and it definitely, I've tried a brush in here, and it's quicker than this um, little applicator. But I don't get as even of coverage. Like, I love this for just getting an even base. So, like, I just try to... I actually like how it closes really securely. Yeah. Um, I try to just, like, get an even dab in there and then just go in probably, like, two or three times. Not too much. Okay, I have to use it. I just use a normal beauty sponge. Okay. Um, yeah, I think you'll really like this. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the this product comes with a refill of the actual formula. Which is really nice. Yeah, yeah, and I think an extra sponge. Oh. Yeah, I think it also has a sponge in there. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. Um, 
I've been loving this. I wear it's it every so nice. day. I don't understand how it feels very lightweight. Like if you've ever used a cushion foundation, they usually feel pretty similar. I haven't mm -hmm. found one that's like, oh, this feels really thick or like they all yeah. feel the same. But that's, this, the, the finish mm -hmm. of this is really unique. It yeah. really smooths out your skin somehow and it's glowy without being too glowy. Yeah, exactly. And the Get Ready, I think I said it looked more matte and I didn't mean it looked matte because I don't think it looks matte. But just compared to like the Ilia or other products that are super glowy, I think this just has such a skin-like appearance. Yeah. Like it looks like your skin looks. So, you know, it's kind of like a satin sheen. It doesn't look super glowy, but it doesn't look really matte. And it's just such a beautiful, yeah, finish. Um, it's so thin when it goes on, so it's so comfortable to wear all day. Mm -hmm. It looks so natural, like in any lighting, which is what I really love about it. Like, I love this product. It's I, so good. And we're in the shade light medium, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, it's... Yeah, light medium. I think it's called gentle light. Yeah, gentle light, light medium. Um, and there's sunscreen in here too. Yeah, SPF 50. So, really love this. Okay, sorry. One more skincare favorite. It is the Ren Overnight Recovery Balm. I think I talked about this in a weekly favorites. This is so unique. It's like a very viscous balm. It looks like Vaseline in the tub, which is glass, which I really love, by the way. Um, but it actually is to me like a solid oil like once you put some on you know your fingers like I like to rub it in between my hands like I'll just go like this and I like apply it everywhere because my skin has been so dry and I just put it on as my last step at night and to That's me what I do with the other farm okay, this yeah one. yeah similar mm -hmm. concept um, to me it just kind of like breaks down all the oils and then your skin is just left so nourished and I also have used it like overnight on my hands and it just does something just so nice like it doesn't feel too heavy even though like I said in here it looks like you'd be putting Vaseline yeah. on your face but it's not like that at all um I do think they added fragrance but like I said I think it's lower on the ingredient list I wish they didn't include it but it's fine it hasn't irritated my skin it's just filled with like all these really calming ingredients and I've just found that um, if ever my skin is like acting up and I put this all over, I just wake up with really plump and hydrated skin and I'm just always impressed by it. I've been using it all month, multiple times, um, a, a spot tree under my eyes or like around my eyes, they get really dry too. And like I said, even on my hands, like kind of, yeah, in the same vein mm -hmm. as this. It's kind of like the same thing, and this is cheaper, I believe. Is it really? I mean, I think this is pretty expensive. Because you get how many, um, how much product? You get 43 grams in here. Oh, this is in oh, one milliliter. Oh, so you get less. One ounce versus 1.5. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So you do yeah. get less product, but I would say almost more so with this a little goes a long way. Like, you really don't need a lot at all. Um, and I do highly recommend it. I think it's a beautiful product. And I'm they did send this to us. And I'm very grateful because I've been really loving it. Clearly, we love bombs. I know. <laughs> I know. I feel like we, like, want to launch something now. We're like, I oh, know. what can we do that's, like, oh, like, bomby, like, multi-purpose. It's just, like, so fun. Thank you guys so much for watching our November favorites. We hope you had a great month. We're excited about December, the end of the year. Let's see what it brings. Mm -hmm. And have a good week.